where we try to make a musical in 30 minutes about literally anything. And joining me is, as always, it is Brianna Jones. Hello. And Andrew DeWolf. Woohoo! We're ready to make a musical. <laughs> I'm yes. ready to give it a try. All right. In case you haven't noticed by our basic attitude during that opening, um, we are converting Super Mario, the concept of Super Mario, into a musical. We and have been... I think we can, I mean... Based on what we've been talking about, I assume we could just take and pick and choose from different games and yes, adaptations here's, here's and whatever. Here's the context. Um, Nintendo of America comes to us and was like, we want our IP to like hit more ground in New York and among New York tourists. So we need a Broadway-ready show with Broadway stakes and emotional um, connections. Um, we need that. Um, so that's what our goal is. We have carte blanche to use anything in the in the mario canon we can't dive into like too far like off reach games like just because they show up in smash doesn't mean we can use them well yeah yeah i assume it's main canon so it's not yes. like mario party or or like that kind of stuff mario yes. kart really we stick and mario to the... needs to be the center character it can't just be a dk story that has mario in it no right. no, no okay yeah okay. i mean i i that's, think I... that's the rules I think the basic plot has to be Peach gets kidnapped by Bowser. I mean, I mean, what else right? would it be? Yeah, it has yeah. to be that. I don't think that's empowering as a woman. Um, well, I think we that... can give Peach songs and things, and we can have other characters like Daisy show can up. Can I, mean... I offer a counter pitch? Because um, I found this dynamic fairly interesting in the one game it happened. It is yeah. Bowser's son kidnaps Peach because he thinks that it's his mom. You want to you want to do Sunshine? I want to do Sunshine, but just for that piece. I don't want fl- okay. flood or anything. I just think well, that I is a I am fine. Thing. I am fine including uh, Bowser Jr. because I think he's an, uh, a fun character. Yes, and I think that Bowser should be like this intimidating thing that we don't even see until like halfway through Act Two. I feel like he should be a presence, but we don't see him. He like we get well, the mouth. I think of him Bowser. Bowser. Jr. If we're not if we're not doing like the Mario Party stuff, like Bowser should be scary. I agree, you know? but I feel like oh, yeah. he's scarier if you build him up as a mythic figure as opposed to like yeah. a character. I don't think he should have like a fun song. He should be like no. a spook, a spooky set piece, you know? Yes. Mm-hmm. And the question is, is Luigi in it? And if he is, is he a major character? Luigi is in it. He is a major character. Yes. Like, what kind of major character? Is he, like, like along for the ride, or is he helpful in a different way? He is along for the ride. Mario and Luigi are both working together on this one. And I'm going to throw this out there. Um, there is some sort of, like, bounty or something to save Peach, and Wario and Lu- Waluigi are also trying to save Peach. I'm into this. Okay. 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 Uh- <laughs> All right. I want to give Peach something to do. Like, I feel like she and Bowser Jr. Oh, could have, like, a I real think, good, like, camaraderie yeah. and kind of back and forth and, like, showing her smarts and the fact that she doesn't really want to fight her way a- away from a child. Yeah. No, I think that's fine. I- I'm not saying that Peach shouldn't be a character. I'm just saying that that's, like, the plot of Mario games. Oh, so I agree. You but I was just going to borrow the part <laughs> I liked from a specific Mario game. Um. Yeah, so yeah, we can do that, and we can definitely have a few songs between Peach and Bowser Jr. We need some tension between Luigi and Mario, because by structural nature, there needs to be a mid-act breakup. We we need them as a relationship to come together, break up, and then come back together. That is just the nature of storytelling. Um, So I was thinking of giving Luigi an inferiority complex. Why is it always uh, the Mario Brothers? And why isn't it always Luigi Brothers? It's my name too, Mario. Okay. I mean, we could do that. Or we could make use of the new rivalry of Wario and Waluigi and maybe uh, have them do something to sow dissent between them. That could work too. Um, But what if like, like they kind of switch partners like Wario, like halfway through Wario takes Luigi and Mario takes Waluigi and it just doesn't work. (laughs) (laughs) That could be funny. I don't know how you'd facilitate that though. Like literally Wario and Waluigi have their own kind of fight (laughs) for different similar reasons. (laughs) Um, where they're fighting like, over who's gonna take 
the bigger uh, portion of the money that they get for saving Peach. Oh, okay. Okay. Actually, no, I'm going to pitch this. Wario and Mario end up together, and then Waluigi and Luigi end up together, and they both annoy, like, Wario. Mario is annoyed by Wario by all the things that Luigi hates about Mario, and Luigi is annoyed by Waluigi by all the things that Mario hates about him, and then they're like, I missed you. I need you back. Ah, so they they learn that they hate themselves more than they hate each other. Yes, they understand what <laughs> mo- their respective brother felt was so annoying about them, <laughs> and is like willing to bring back the olive branch and work harder to make the relationship work. Okay, so I think what needs to happen is Luigi has to like fail at something, and Mario gets upset because Luigi's always a coward and and is never as good at that stuff. And then later on, Luigi has to come back and succeed in a way that he failed before. You know, that's Luigi's arc. Yes, <clears throat> I agree. Okay. And you can throw nuts into like Luigi's mansion and shit like that. Yep, absolutely. Right. Um, I mean. You can even have one of the, like, obstacles they have to go through on their adventure be, like, the, the Boo uh, house or something like that. Yes. I love that. I don't know. Like, the flashlight. Could... Yeah. Well, no, that could be, like, the thing that Mario discovers he needs Luigi for. Like, he's, like, so brave, but he's deathly afraid of ghosts. Like, the Boo. And Luigi. Luigi. Is also afraid yeah. of ghosts. But knows how to but handle he can, himself. He, he knows how to beat them. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm into that. That's their little mini arc. Um over the trip to save Princess Peach. Um, We need to go back to the beginning. How do we start this? Okay, you have to start it with either Peach just immediately being kidnapped by Bowser Jr. or with like a a happy start and then they kidnap her. Yes, we need like an emoji land kind of start where it's like life is great in the kingdom of shrooms. Yeah, Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah. Absolutely. Like Doesn't we, one of the Mario games start with them getting married, Peach and Mario, and then Bowser steals her away? That was Odyssey, I think. Like there was like oh. a wedding going to happen. Yeah, that I, was Odyssey, right? Oh, what if what if Wario and Waluigi are also happy and they get like gold taken from them or something? No, they're just kind of like Tenardier esque characters that kind of cause trouble. Like they don't have like specific goals aside from their usual let's let's fuck around. They just they just see the the bounty posters yeah. and they're like, yeah, oh well, yeah. <laughs> like literally opening number mushroom kingdom wedding like where everyone's getting their shit together to prepare for mario and peach's wedding like we start with louise yeah. then we like introduce daisy then we use daisy and introduce peach we use mario and they have to be kept apart and then as soon as they're like about to be put on the pedestal together down comes baby mario being like no she's my mother you're not gonna take my mom away and then like that's the end of the first number okay okay right. Um, we and then so we would move on. And immediately throw a rock in it. Okay. okay. So is it really, this is kind of like a thing where we don't really need like an I want song, I don't think. We just, they just want to get Peach back. That's really it. I feel like we could do a me, me and you, but mostly me kind of song where that kind of acts as yeah. the I want song in Book of Mormon. We could have like, um, it's you and me, the brothers too, the brothers who, the Mario brothers. And the joke is like, it's, he always says Mario brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Like that maybe maybe a... by the end by the end he just says the brothers, you yes. know, or something. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Mario and Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> oh shucks, Mario. That's that's the real uh like there's no real romantic interest needed in no, this. It's, I don't think it's Mario Peach, and Luigi. I don't think Peach and Mario would ever have troubles. I don't imagine them as a couple that fights. No, no, and and really there is no romantic element. It's like, yeah, she's kidnapped, he's gonna go save her, duh. Yes. I mean <laughs> But it has uh, to be so like, really the Mario as weird as it is, like I feel like in most Mario Luigi narratives, you can't stray too far away from the ninety three movie where Mario is kind of like the rock that like knows who he is and what he wants and his arc needs to be about like opening up and kind of letting people in. Where Luigi is the one that's like, I want things and more and I don't have enough out of life where Mario is always the complacent one trying to get back his com- it's Shrek and Donkey dynamic, basically. Yeah. No, and it works. It works. We keep that. Mm-hmm. And I think, oh boy, so Wario and Waluigi come in after this kidnapping as well, and I think they get a good comedy number or something. Yeah, we have to introduce um, them, like, like we kind of have like the, uh, what I, I like this number idea that I'm trying to think, Honor Among Thieves, like that is Wario's theme, like that is his song name, and it's just like he's talking to his brother Waluigi about like what they believe in and what they're doing, and while he's singing it, he's just also stealing a bunch of stuff. 
and to, it ends mid song like with them finding the wanted poster like hey there's some money we can get from there ain't that right waluigi ah <laughs> I like I like them because they're they're never like evil, but no. they're definitely never in it for the right reasons. You know, it's like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we need to cut to Bree as Peach. Like, what is Peach up to? Because she's got this really complicated thing going on. Okay, I feel like even though she was just um like stolen away on her wedding day, she's still very very nice. Mm-hmm. Like, she's very nice to um, Bowser little Jr. Bowser Jr. She has um, to somehow explain to him that she's not his mom. And he has to be like, <laughs> yeah. so, like, nope, nope, my dad said so, and it's the truth. And we've got to, like, instill yeah. an actual fear of Bowser as a threat. Bowser has yeah. to be the one that's like, if she gets to Bowser, then it's a problem. Yes. You know? Yeah. Um, maybe maybe have Bowser Jr. sing a song about My Daddy Says or something like that, yes. you know? Yeah. And, like, Peach uh, is in that with him? I don't know. And maybe she's trying to avoid going to see Bowser by, like, she's like, well, let's have a mommy and me day or yes. something or a mommy and Bowser day. So she's kind of, like, playing up this I idea like that. that she's the mother. I like this um, idea that Bowser is just out somewhere and the ticking clock is him getting back like to the dark castle and she's like in this mm-hmm. like l- like kind of like a beauty and the beast situation where she's like in this very lavish beautiful room and she's treated very well and then act one closes with her being found out trying to escape herself um through the mommy me day and then bowser jr throwing her in the cellar um where like all the evil turtles and other goombas are the koopas yes and that's <laughs> where we end her kind of story in act one like as like, oh no, things got worse. Like, and uh-oh, Mario... now it's serious. And Mario Meanwhile, and Luigi are broken apart. So like, all on all fronts, everything is terrible. Yeah, there's no hope yeah. here. So what, okay, see, we had this idea, Mario and Waluigi, and, and uh, Wario and w- Luigi and Waluigi get together somehow. How do they end up together? Like, what's the reason? Or well, is that but... like a comedy number at the start of Act 2, we kind of explain that? They just kind of meet each other. I think in Act 1, right after Wario and Waluigi find the wanted posters and decide we're going off of the, uh, after that, um, they're all heading in the same direction. So eventually they're going to yeah. come across each other, and they're going to be like, oh, you, and oh, you. And then they're going to kind of screw off. And then Mario and Luigi are going to have their issues. They're going to break apart, and simultaneously Wario and Waluigi have their issues. Um, Waluigi meets up with Luigi. Wario meets up with Mario. And they're like, you know what? I've got, we all got things to gain from it. Let's just work together. And at the same time, Peach is thrown into the dungeon. And then we just kind of see the eyes of the Koopas gathering around her. And that's where we end act one. We start act two with like the dream team song where they call themselves the dream teams. And then everything they attempt to do, they just mess up terribly because they just don't gel together. And it's a comedy number about how Wario and Mario don't work together, while Luigi and Luigi don't work together, and they just keep trotting on. And then we cut to Peach, and she's already like domesticated all the Goombas, and like they're bringing her flowers and stuff. Like she is just that good and such like a pure soul. Like that is the power she has. And then we introduce Bowser, who is this dominating yeah. figure. And Bowser's got to have like that that like that like Hades voice you know oh yeah he's played by patrick page yeah <laughs> um is he he's like 90 percent costume i would assume maybe like uh maybe we do like a the head in in the from wizard of oz wicked no the no, wicked, no no no, no. Uh, have, you, head have you seen the puppet from the king kong musical no i haven't look that not, up at least right not now. much look that puppet up because that's how i imagine this could be done in a way where you could have both a human actor and a physical practical thing okay because that could be really cool oh wow right that thing won its own tony like that 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 puppet won a tony i i can't imagine oh my god and that is our bowser character so we can have like all the intense action quote unquote the cartoony action with something that big and an actor wow that is a really impressive puppet right it is this musical was terrible too wasn't it? yes it was (laughs) The puppet was the only thing anyone talked about. Well, I mean, it must have been really cool to see, though. I mean, yeah, I'm sure some people would be willing to pay to see a, a show that's bad just to see this cool puppet. <laughs> now, did people have to like, yes, like control the puppet? Were, like, oh my god! Once, 
Um, so that's our Bowser. Our Bowser is going to okay. use the same technology as that, um, played by Patrick Page. And, like, we really need to give him, like, agency and a reason why. Where it, more than just complacency. We need to, like, be like, this guy is evil and a threat, but it makes sense that he wasn't involved in Act well, 1 he Well, wants, he wants Peach kidnapped because he wants to take over the Mushroom Kingdom. Yes. Like, that's his actual motive. He wants to take over the Mushroom Kingdom, and Peach is in the way of that. How about this? You go on your merry way there, little girl. If you just hand over your kingdom, you can get married to that plumber man and do everything you want, but kingdom's mine. <laughs> 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 yeah, we could do something like that. Yeah. I'm, his, I mean, his ideas will be something, but Peach will obviously say no, and he'll I keep I mean, he kidnapped. has to have pretty good ideals. I'm, that's kind of the thing I've always hated about Bowser, is he just kind of wants girl or take over. I feel like he's like, my people, you care about the kingdom of mushrooms, but what about the kingdom of Goombas and Koopas thrown down here into the depths? Kind of like a scar. I mean, honestly, honestly, though, the Koopas are treated pretty bad. Like, Mario just jumps yes. on their heads. <laughs> like, he does not care. That is not even a good way to go. That's like, he just flattens them. Just because we live <laughs> underground does not mean we breathe any less, princess. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we can, we, and he's like a big threat, and he's going to take over the kingdom and, and destroy their way of life. Um, and okay, Peach but then like, no, why no. does uh, Bowser Jr. think that it's his mom? I feel like that's just because... so something that Bowser told him, like, for fun. Well, yeah, because Bowser, I think Bowser on some level wants him to kidnap Peach as well. Yeah. So like, you know, yeah, or maybe that's... he's trying to make his dad proud. Yes. Well, his... Yeah. Something okay. like that. Something where it's like, I need to do this for my dad. Bowser yeah. is an extremely inconsistent character. Like, let's just be. Yeah, and I do, real and here. I want to recharacterize yeah. him entirely as to like an actual threat with actual morals and an actual goal, a political goal here. Oh well, yeah, because Bowser. I mean, he in the first game he really is like a, just a big monster turtle. Yes, and like that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. And then later on, he has been recontextualized to like a guy that sits in a jacuzzi, uh, and you know okay, just okay, wants to okay. go on vacation. Okay, okay, like, okay. okay. <laughs> Beginning of the musical, Peach believes that being a princess <laughs> is representing the crown well and, like, being pretty and being perfect and representing her family and all that. And then she discovers how many people are still suffering despite how lo happy people in the Mushroom Kingdom see. And her arc is, like, allowing the Koopas and the Goombas to return and join the kingdom as one of, of as part of her world. Like, that is her little mini arc. And, and Bowser okay. facilitates I like that. that. Well, no, baby Bowser. J Bowser Jr. facilitates that. Bowser is like this reckless, like has beliefs, but terrible person. Bowser Jr. is the one that frees Peach, like eventually lets her go to like, because Bowser is just too off the chain and is going to hurt someone. Like he's literally going to kill Maybe. Bowser. Because as soon uh, as Bowser whatever... knows that Mario is on the trail, he like goes, he switches. Yeah, and maybe whatever reason that... Bowser told Bowser Jr. that it's his mom comes out and he's and Bowser Jr.'s like, wait, it's not really my mom. Yeah. And then, yeah. That would actually be a good liar reveal where he's like, I did all this for nothing. You used me, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay. Back to Mario. Then we have a song about we, to... we have a song about Mario hating Wario and Wario hating Mario that's, that's and our, vice versa. That's for our Luigi's. act two opener. That like like them discovering how badly they work together and it's a well no number. I think there has to be something that like clarifies that they are discovering something and then they stop working together too. I feel like it needs to be like a moral issue with Mario and Wario. Like that is it. Where Wario won't help a thing like that needs help and w mario's like what what do you do or like threaten someone like very violently to get information and mario's like that's not how we work and he's like that's how i work yeah and maybe maybe he like when he asks why he's doing it he's like well he wants to be the center of attention or something and mario like realizes that that's what he's been doing with luigi yes like, wait that is a bad thing and while Luigi <laughs> just doesn't do anything, he's lazy. Like he he's like lazy to the form of apathy. And Luigi just is like, "Come on, we 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 gotta keep going." He's like, "Ah, why should I? It means nothing." And he's like, "It means something to someone." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then and then they somehow meet up and and they, well, Wa Wa Wario and Waluigi no, 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 honestly no, 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 can no, no, just no. they just give up. No. Um, they all get captured individually by Goombas and end up in Bowser's castle, where they're reunited, oh, okay. and Mario and Luigi work together and defeat 
Bowser. Do we give Wario and Waluigi a happy ending, or do they just kind no, of, No, they like, get the Tenardier and... ending, where they're like, yeah, they failed, but they didn't die, and they're not really that much worse off, but they dis- they find rediscover their relationship with one another, and that's enough. And then, yeah, so they don't actually help defeat Bowser. They, like, they like run away or something yeah. when they see Bowser. They're like, oh. <laughs> um, and then Bowser, does Bowser die or just get defeated? I feel like this kind of character we've set up kind of needs to die for his ideals. Yeah, Bowser can die. I think he we needs to Bowser. die yeah. at Bowser Jr.'s hands, though. I feel like that's the big thing. Also, Bowser Bowser dies. Well, he can die at Mario's hands, too. I think that's fine. I think Mario Bowser has dies to like, get him like 98% there, and then he, he's like, I, you're not even worth it. Then Bowser Jr. is the one that's like, all Maybe right. Maybe Bowser Jr. just decides not to save him or something like that. Yeah. Something like that where we can resolve Bowser Jr.'s arc. Um, and then all the Goombas and Koopas like are free from their govern- like their tyrannical reign. And they're like, what do we do now? And Paige is like, I know exactly what to do. And then she lets them all into the mushroom And kingdom. then dance party. Yeah, then we end very positively with a dance party. <laughs> um we gotta have an 11 o'clock number um we do um and strangely enough i think it's gonna be peaches <laughs> like i feel like peach That's fine. has become like mario and luigi yeah they're the title characters but peach is the heart of this like in the same way that bowser is the they they represent two different things and they both have to learn from each other Sure. I didn't mean for this to become so peach centric, but my god, I'm I'm seeing this character and I want this musical to exist now. I mean, people talk about how Peach in in the games doesn't have any character, but like, let's be real, none of them have any real character. <laughs> yeah, what is Mario's character? <laughs> Luigi has the most, which is he's scared. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, honestly, I think Wario also has a decent amount of character in that he's he's greedy. Uh, but he's a bad guy. You can't really give a story to him. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I think that's I think that's a good um uh, good rough draft there. Yeah, we and got we're a under, good story. We're under thirty minutes. Yeah, we have to get some song names in there really quick. Um, mm-hmm. I feel like we've got like three, but I need the eleven o'clock number, which is like we need something where it's like a pun. Like we all know that the Mario arc is kind of dumb. We need a pun for Peach to kind of like what do I stand for or something? Maybe that could be it. That could be like the pop song that they try to promote to like the pop numbers. Like that's the one that gets played on the sure. radio. Like yeah. what do I stand for if I let things like this occur? What do I stand for? <laughs> yeah, we can do that. That's I'm fine with yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that I they think, sell. I think that it has to end with uh, do the Mario. Oh, of course it does. <laughs> <laughs> Just for gays. Swing your arms from, from side, side to side. side. <laughs> do the Mario. I feel like you don't sing the song, but we implement the do the Mario dance into like the final number a little bit, or just the dance. Yes. <laughs> that, yeah, that's fine. That we yeah. can do that. That works. Yeah. Um. All right. Who do you think would do the score to this, Andrew? Who do you think would be a good choice to do the musical score to this? Honestly, I think we can get one of the composers from the uh, from the games. No, I think we should do a theater composer. Like, if you could think of any theater okay. composer. Oh, I, I honestly have no idea. Probably someone who's done something very poppy. Frank Wilde. I mean, <laughs> Frank Wilde. No, not, not that kind of poppy. Something like peppy. I don't know. What are you thinking? Oh, I'm still kind of running in my head. I know the ones that people would jump to. Um, uh would be oh what's his name the guy from be more chill um joe iconis because video game and i'm not sure that's yeah the way to i don't go. know if we want that video game sound as much as we want it to sound like the music that's in a game right i feel like it needs to be mm-hmm. self-aware kind of like we don't want it to have like techie synth sounds you know we don't want that you know what Here's a pitch. Tell me if you dislike it. The guys that did the prom, I think they'd be a very good one. They'd find the emotion there. I could see yeah. it. You know, why not? Honestly, I don't, I'm not picky with something like this because I feel like most composers could probably handle it. Uh, you know, like, I don't, I don't know if this is something that'd be like, oh, it has to go to this person. Or no, 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 no. It's not going to be good. Like, I, <laughs> my second choice would be Alan Menken and Glenn Slater, um, who did Tangled and the Galvant, I feel like they yeah, do a very good job with this. They too. would do something very like comedic and and they'd understand the comedy, but they'd know. also sell the emotional beats. Like you need someone that can do yes. both. Yeah. Now Nintendo would probably never approve of this actually happening. I honestly think they might. But I think they might. They have approved of stuff recently, like adaptation wise, because they they opened like a theme park and stuff like that, which mm-hmm. 
you know, maybe our maybe show could run at the theme park. Maybe they'll do something. But maybe the, we'll get a Mario musical. But they're also doing the um, the um, Illumination movie with Mario. Um, That's true. So I don't. And Universal is a very known theater producer. They are like Mark Platt, who did Dear Evan Hansen, Wicked, all that. Um, he's involved with Universal. So this isn't the most ridiculous one. We, like I'd sooner see this than say the Rugrats in Paris movie <laughs> musical. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it couldn't happen. I'm just saying at least in the past, there's been a precedent that it wouldn't. Yes, I agree. So Nintendo sued for less. All right, Bree. What do you think Ben <laughs> Brantley would say about this? I feel like he wouldn't like it. Yeah, I on the real, like... he would probably hate this. Yeah, he would absolutely hate it. I don't know. Um... I feel like he might be surprised by this, kind of in the same way the SpongeBob musical surprised him and he liked it. I feel like if you do this right, he could really enjoy it. And I feel like this has more to it than I would have expected when we started recording, to be honest. <laughs> I think it could be fun. There's very vibrant colors that could be played with. Uh, you know, I, it could be it could be a good stage show. And if you it want just, me to kind of know. throw something in that we've done recently, we could do the folks who did Emoji Land. I think they could nail this score. Oh, yeah, yeah. actually. That, that was my first thought. I also think you could do a very simple uh, set to make up for the cost of the giant Bowser puppet that we're going to have to use. <laughs> Like because uh, you could just Bowser get like the yellow bust. <laughs> yeah, because you could get yeah. the you could get the yellow question mark blocks as like part of the set and brick blocks and like you could do a lot with that. Right. I- I'm just worried that like the actors portraying them probably will look goofy. Like no matter what, if you throw anyone in those costumes, they're gonna look bad. Well, I think you have to stylize them in a way that they'd look more like plumbers. That's fair. But either way, we're coming up on our time. Is there anything else you want to say in this episode of Make Me a Musical? I can't wait to see this one on Broadway. Um, Honestly, yeah. please pay me. I need the royalty money. You know what, guys? Uh, if you <laughs> want to work on something for your for your demo reels, this is a great starting point. All right. See you guys next time. Bye. Love y'all. Bye.